Uh, we just got some new pictures into our newsroom uh, from the east side of Manhattan. Uh, if we can go to that flooding video here, uh, you can see some vehicles off the street. They're sort of backing up uh, from the flood waters. Lights are out. You can see the uh, red lights there just flashing and streets just saturated mm. uh, with feet of water, several feet of water. Uh, there are some people out milling about, checking out uh, what Sandy brought in. Uh, just a few hours ago, probably about an hour, hour and a half ago, uh, we heard from the city that they had encouraged uh, everyone to stay indoors. That's a mandatory order at this point, but uh, people want to go out. People are curious. They want to see uh, what's happening on the east side. At this point, uh, this is new video. I'm not sure if these are evacuations uh, of those people who are coming out with the kids, but we'll try to get some more information on that for you. And this right here, just proof of the amount of debris that has been spilling out on the streets from the high winds, street signs being knocked around, uh, uh, cartons and garbage pails being knocked around and into the streets of Manhattan, Queens, and everything shut Brooklyn, down. Jersey Included Shore, in that area is Battery Park uh -huh. City. That's in what's called Zone A. That's that mandatory evacuation area. And that's where we join Ida Siegel live. Ida, what's the update? Hey, Sheba, good to see you guys on the air again. Yeah, we are well, actually along the West Side Henry Highway, David which is Thoreau. totally shut down right now. Chapter one, economy. When I wrote the following pages, or rather the bulk of them, I lived alone in the woods, a mile from any neighbor, in a house which I had built myself on the shores of Walden Pond in Concord, Massachusetts, and earned my living by the labor of my hands only. I lived there two years and two months. At present, I am a sojourner in civilized life again.